Hi guys, I'm Jamie New, the founder of Smartest You, and in this video, you're going to learn 13 things to look for before agreeing to manage an artist. Plus, we've got a free artist management startup kit available in the description that you're going to want to download after you've watched this whole video. So as managers, we invest a lot of time into our clients, so we want to make sure we're investing in the right clients, um, aka artists. Uh, our talent selection also reflects our reputation. So when we rep great talent, we gain a good reputation in the industry as someone whose taste and talent can be trusted. So careful selection of which talent we represent can also help to avoid signing flaky and unreliable clients, which is a big issue for a lot of managers. So how do we as managers carefully select clients? Well, we have to look for certain qualities. Firstly, we want to look for originality and uniqueness. Managers and fans want to see acts that will lead instead of follow and ones that think outside of the box. Number two is talent. Obviously, they have to be great. Songs, the songwriting, the vocals, stage presence, how they carry themselves, etc. We want a full package that will grab people's attention. Number three is love factor. You have to love their music. And if you don't, you simply should not want to manage them. Number four, hard work and determination. We want to manage artists who work just as hard, if not harder than us, even after they get signed. Because once they get signed, they need to put in the hours to continue improving their art and building their business with their management team. Their work doesn't stop after they get a manager. It's very much the opposite. And a lot of people think it's the other way around. Um, so in order to make music a long-term career for themselves, the artist needs to be more determined than the average artist or the average person in general. So you have to look out for that. Number five is patience. Anyone who is passionate about anything um, has a certain level of urgency and a limited amount of patience like me. But I repeat on a daily basis, the music is a long, the music business is a long-term business and everything takes way longer than you want it to. And the artist needs to understand this. Um, something you think might happen in one year might actually happen in five years uh, or never. There's a small chance you may see some great success quickly, but there's a way stronger chance that something you want to happen will take you way, way longer than you want it to happen, if ever. Number six is perseverance. Ideally, the artist that you're looking for has already been doing this for a while and has the ability to keep going even if they've had difficulties along the way. Sometimes we start working with artists who are brand new, but ideally we want to work with clients who have already proven that they can tough it out over the years because it's really heartbreaking to work with a talented artist that just gives up out of nowhere because it gets too tough for them. Number seven is enthusiasm. You don't want to manage someone who isn't enthused about their own work. It's that simple. Number eight, trustworthiness. Not only does the artist have to trust you, but you have to trust your artist as well. It's a two-way street. Um, they need to trust that you're going to work hard 24-7 to get them where they need to go. And you need to trust that they're going to continue to drive the bus with you and not just ditch you at the slightest roadblock or difficulty. Number nine is communication. You'll hear it again and again. This is like a marriage. It's so important to find an artist that you can communicate with and vice versa. You'll both need to be very, very honest with each other and sometimes have very, very difficult conversations. So communication is key. Number 10 is a good reputation. Ideally, you find an artist that has a good reputation already, not just with industry, but also with their fans. So if you want, you can try asking around before you start working with them. Number 11 is existing success. So something has to make them attractive already. And I don't just mean their looks, although depending on the style of music or what have you, that can definitely work or help. But what I'm talking about is that something is already working. Their business is already growing. They've already got a bit of a fan base or they've achieved some sort of success already. Um, and it helps if that success includes money. Um, number 12 is aligned vision. So you want to look for an artist where yours and theirs definitions of success are the same or similar. So make sure you spend time finding out exactly what it is they want um, so that you can make sure that you can truly deliver to them because you are you want to go in the same direction. Number three, 13 is professionalism. The more professional your clients are, the better. And even though you as the manager are the one that's dealing with industry most of the time, you want to hear that your artist, you don't want to hear that your artist played a venue and was very unprofessional or inappropriate with staff. Uh, professionalism is what separates winners from amateurs. And number 14, 
is humility and good personality. You definitely don't want to be with, working with someone who's an asshole or treats anyone else like crap. At least I know I don't. So look out for the ones who are nice people and know the difference between right and wrong. Or decide what kind of crap you're willing to take from your own clients uh, if this doesn't really matter to you. So take a look at the clients you may already have or you're already managing or that you want to look into managing. Or if you're managing yourself and you're watching this, uh, take a look at yourself. What qualities do you have? What qualities do your clients have? What can they work on? What can you work on? Um, should you talk to each other about it? Um, and how can you put yourself out there in a way that a good manager is going to find you or you are a good manager and you're going to find a good artist? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and let us know what else you'd like to know about. Share it with your fellow music industry friends and thank you very much for watching.